Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to another exhibition match stream. This is Shadow Fury 33 bringing you a bunch of exhibition matches. And today it's going to be me humoring my audience as I got quite a few replays. People who wanted to have replays casted. And since I will do replay requests if I don't have any particular replays I want to do. And. Well, okay, totally at my discretion, but hey, I've got. I have people telling me replays to do, so it saves me time searching, which is great. I like that. And I like the fact that people are interested. That that sort of investment in my work is appreciated. And to show that appreciation, I shall have a game that I believe is Deebs mentioned, although I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, Hellivore versus Radavadra on Iced Coffee. Get started right away. Hellivore starting out in the... Or Hellivore, I'm not quite... Oh, no, that's that's French. We Hellor. Hellor starting out in the north side of the map, going for jump bots, while Radavadra in the south side of the map, going for Amphib, which is an interesting choice. Admittedly, I can kind of see why there is water in this map. I okay, I did make this map. In case it wasn't clear, I kind of intended these areas in particular to basically be unpathable, like totally unpath. The only way you can do proper unpathable in 0k is to have a big cliff area with water in between and that's about it. Cliff areas can be spider pathed and water can be amphib or hover pathed. I'm not sure what to do about this. I was requested to make this more pathable for amphibs and honestly I kind of not sure if I want to make it more pathable or make it completely unpathable. I have to think about that. Anyway, Right about you're going around back with the duck, which, as I mentioned last cast with ducks, you cannot trust ducks. You can trust them more now because they have a hard time killing each other, but I mean the actual creature, the duck. Terrible cr- Well, they're terrible people. They're probably okay at being ducks, but I can't judge them on those merits. I'm not a duck. However, this duck here is coming in and dealing quite a bit of damage, and on those merits I can judge it to be pretty powerful. Getting rid of a couple wind generators right off, not getting rid of the metal extractors first, which is bizarre actually, a little bit surprising. The metal extractors are a little bit more important, I'd say. At the same time, Pyro coming in and going for the metal extractors. Taking out one of them, taking out a Lotus, or trying to. It's going to go down in the process, though. But doing its darndest, it didn't succeed, but it did its darndest. But yeah, metal extractors are more expensive by half, and also they're harder to get more of. You can get more wind generators anywhere. The metal extractors, there's kind of space limited. Kind of particular place to go there. And yeah, Severin Pony pointing out in the chat that ducks have a very interesting system of reproduction, which I will not go over now, as it is something along the lines of cosmic horror. And I'd rather not terrify my audience into leaving. So for the moment, I shall refrain from discussing it. However, these ducks do not reproduce, they're simply built. And they are doing actually a pretty good job, although admittedly, Radavadra is letting a few of them die. He might want to drop one of them into the water. Not able to do that. Actually, the puppies, puppies coming from hell, we're going to finish out the last one. As commander, stopping the entire entry of ducks and ducks are taking advantage of the underwater section here, which is they can't get into the base though. Might be a little bit awkward. I think that's what people were trying to do. That is not supposed to happen. I mean, getting into the water, you know what? That seems okay. Just you're not gonna be able to get up. That's the only thing. And oh, hey, Deebs, Deebs is in the chat. So yeah, like I said, he's the guy who requested this, and I'm. Figure it's always a good idea to. Oh my God, it's better to let other people do your work for you, as I as tends to save some time. Anyway, I know it's not like a total selfish get when I say things like that. So Radavadra is getting up a decent economy. He does have a slight advantage as well. His ducks, however, have been reclaimed by Hellwar, and he is being a bit more careful now, putting them into little pit areas. I think these guys. Not sure they're intending to stay there, but he, are, he is putting them into pits, using the water to just hide them, which is pretty clever. I do like that. Definitely a neat way of using the water. I've never actually seen anyone use Amphib on this map. When it was made, Amphib wasn't used. Period. Just no one used Amphibious bots. It wasn't until basically the duck weight change. Actually, it wasn't until I think the last one we won tournament when Drone start. We saw Drone using them. He'd, he'd been using them for some time, but it wasn't really until then that people realized he'd been using them. And that they became more, basically, I guess, had more attention from balance team. 
and then you ended up with ducks that are actually decent weight, decent cost. They don't end up accidentally killing each other, though admittedly there is a Volterra joke that I can never make as a result. And Scout will come in as well, which is nice, but yeah, the ducks, duck change definitely makes them more viable as a straight raider. Of course, puppies are still quite powerful. This is Jumpbot versus Amphib. Two months ago, I would have never believed that this sort of matchup would even happen, let alone on this map of all places. I mean, Jumpbots are used decently on Ice Coffee, but Amphibs, no, never. And Jump versus Amphib doesn't happen. But yeah, now it is, and I'm also taking advantage of the torpedoes, but yes, these ducks cannot go above water easily, thanks to the pyros. Scallops are coming in, which will help. Archers actually would be useful in this map. I noticed on a lot of maps that have been played recently with pure, without water, that had Amphibs, no one is using Archers for good reason. I mean, they require water in order to continue firing, they, I believe they can recharge outside of water, but they recharge quickly inside of water. But it is definitely tricky. And also, oh, Dee is asking about ducks for alpha. Well, against pyros, it doesn't really matter because their their weapon does not deal enough damage to matter. I think area attack. If you hit hit the attack button and draw a circle, I think it will. I can't demonstrate now, obviously, because this is a replay. But I think it will target, it'll spread the target between the ducks. So the ducks will try to basically fire, they won't focus fire, they'll, they'll spread their fire as much as possible. I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. At any rate, right about you're going over to the east side of the map, trying to take out some of Hell War's economy he's been setting up. He has actually been setting it pretty well over the southeast side of the map, while Hell War himself, a little bit behind, setting it more centrally, getting a lot of overdrive. And right now he's got one and a half times overdrive, and Starting to step along the, south, the northwest side. To point out, this map does have this expansion of the west and the east in the center have three and a half metal. Everything else has two per second. That's the only special metal here. Everything else is two. Let's make it a bit more obvious, but yeah, that that is the one special thing here. And Archer here, and we saw it before, fire does beat water in 0k, but it turns out that in this case, the Archer was doing well enough. The yeah, Archers aren't great counter to Pyros. However, with, as a support unit, they do work out pretty well. The Red Flats are getting a pretty decent mix between Duck, Scallop, and now I'm switching over to Boy as well, just to get that tanking and get more health. I'm an easier time punching through Red Avatar's, sorry, Hell Wars defenses. Red Avatar is, however, decently set up, if a bit thinly set up. He does have these defenders here that are. Not, I mean, he's got a lot of defenders actually around. He's got defenders over the southwest, has defenders blocking these two metal extractors here, a couple defenders up front which turned out to be not the most helpful, but still something, some extra support. And on the other hand, Radavadra has a decent number of Lotuses, but uh, can't get rid of their, the reason cannot get rid of their range. Sorry about that. But anyway, he does have three Lotuses up. Will help for incoming ducks though, with enough of them that won't matter. And with boys to support, tank the fire from the Lotuses, that will help a ton. And it looks like it is going to be the Hellwar getting his south, his northwest side, and becoming slightly ahead economically thanks to the overdrive. Scallops are being some useful against the duck. It's against the puppies here, but the ducks are not to be found. We are pretty much purely in a scallop territory now. Yep, entirely scallop and boy, from the looks of it. Total switch over from Radavadra, not really that surprising. Although, admittedly, the ducks high alpha would be nice for raiding, just getting these metal extractors down in like two shots. But, well, two ducks, two shots each, yeah. But that is not to be. At the moment, Radavadra is just hiding out. Let's double check. I don't think Hellwar can see this. No, he cannot. He does not have sonar. He cannot see the amphibs in the water. He can see that there's something walking into the water because of the radar here. You can see the radar dots disappear into the water. So he'd know that there's something there. This isn't the easiest way to hide it. So I, Hellwar is likely aware that there are amphibs here because he's seen them walk in. He hasn't seen them walk out. He can infer, unless he hasn't been paying attention to that particular side of the map, he would know. And he himself is switching over to Jax, going for high high health units of his own. Which would be interesting. Between the, scall the scallops are definitely there to counter the puppies. And honestly, okay, Grizzly, I was about to say, Grizzly wouldn't be a bad idea against the high health units. Neither would a lot of ducks, but yeah, against Jax, because Jax are fairly expensive. 650 metal each, which well, nothing compared to the 2,000 medal of a grizzly. You could have about eight ducks for that cost. And eight ducks, that's about 230, well, it's about 
Turn their damage each duck, each shot, which is about 1600 damage every volley, so it would take about four volleys to kill it. On the other hand, the scalp actually is doing a pretty decent job. I mean, two scallops against the jack, that actually would win for the scallops. A little bit tricky on the jack because it has to be micro -dwell. It is a melee unit, that's a tricky part about that unit. You do have to make sure you jump. You're careful about when you jump because jumping in gets you in close, but at the same time, it eliminates any opportunity for escape. I think jacks are meant to jump in though because they're high health. They just cannot get killed that quickly. And now, right about to try to move his scallops out and Hellwar was well prepared with defenders and gausters. Like I said, he was very likely aware there are amphibs here. He is definitely aware now, but he was probably figuring it out beforehand. Scallops is going forward. Radavadra fighting out with this, but it's not going to work out. They're going to die way too quickly, dealing no meaningful damage at all. So, that's a little unfortunate there. And Radavadra continuing to build up more. He does have a grizzly halfway done. It is going to be about one minute left, and he does thankfully have a caretaker, unlike in the game with Rymark on Frozen Planets that I cast on Saturday. This is a little bit more... I should disable these. This is a little bit better built. Although, admittedly, Rymark did win that game, and he did get enough production in the factory later on, but initially it was a problem. But in this game, initially, no, the Grizzlies are being built a bit more reasonably. And the puppies, however, are being a problem. Being the scallops are dead, there isn't an easy way to just get rid of them. I'm, seriously, why is the... Okay, this is... Ah. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with these here. I can get rid of... Nah, whatever. Anyway. There were some changes to that widget, and I'm trying to just deal with that. Regardless, that will be dealt with for the next game. For now, Radavadra is pushing forward his commander, not upgraded, as is Hell Wars, though Radavadra does have a battle com. A little bit further out there, and the Grizzly, 10 seconds away from being done. There is a boy in a scallop going around the back with five Pyros and a Jack to meet up with them. And the Pyros... Well, the Pyros alone should be able to take care of this without too much issue. They aren't jumping in, they're waiting for the Jack to support. And now the Jack coming in here, the Scallop dealing with damage it can, it will be able to get rid of one of them. And the boy trying to get rid of the rest, but even with its high, fairly high health, it's not going to be enough. Only two Pyros go down, and all this happens in Hell Wars territory, that's a lot of reclaim for him. That is... how much is that? Oh, darn, I kind of wish I could reclaim any time. I cannot, however, so never mind. However, that is still a lot of damage. That is a lot of reclaim there, and it is... It's going to be a bit tricky. It looks like this character... Is this caretaker not working? Okay, it's caretaker apparently not operating at the moment. It looks like Radavadra is... Has it... Is it waiting? No, I don't know why Radavadra's caretaker is not working. That's a little odd. However, it doesn't matter. What matters is the Grizzly is up at the front lines. It is going to try to get rid of these defenders. It should be fine doing that. Hell War has been pushing very heavily with his defenses. He hasn't been getting a lot of units. He's been mostly building a lot of defenders. I should point out that the Hell War has been consolidating along the north side and hasn't had as much territory under his control. Radavadra has not taken the east side. He has overtaken... He hasn't taken the west side mechs. He should do that just to get more metal income. But he could take the east side and west side center high value mechs. That would be extremely useful. If he does that, he'd have the game in the bag. As it stands, he is in an advantageous position, but it could go down if the right positioning goes in for Hell War. If he comes in with the right angle of the Pyros, gets rid of a lot of these defenses, and surrounds the Grizzly before it can fight back. Now, Radavadra does have knowledge. Radavadra has no radar. Never mind. He's working entirely in line of sight. That... That is a pretty major oversight at this stage in the game. He is going for an air switch, but that fact that he doesn't have anything... Any way of knowing what's going on beyond line of sight is just baffling. Really could use that right now. He'd know about those Pyros coming in. He'd know about all the defenders as well. I'm very surprised he isn't making that. So, right now, Hellwar has a lot of puppies. He has, like... Ten puppies over the east side of this choke point. About nine powers over the west side of it. Grizzly moving forward and the puppies are moving in to t try to take it out. They will be able to get in. A few of them will die, but after that, no. But it looks like Radavatra can't move out too soon. The defenders are in place. And like I said, Radavatra needs radar at this point. He really does. And now he is getting these metal extractors. A jack is in place to try to get rid of them from Hellwar. All he'll do for now is just scout it out. Though, like I said, Radavadra does have more economy. He does have a smaller army, but much higher economy. The air switch will help him with scouting, but like I said, he needs radar just to know where to scout. Just know where he needs line of sight. That's with radar. It doesn't tell you a whole lot of information, but it lets you know where you should look. 
Hey, where you should invest your time scouting. And Radavadra has taken the East Metal Extractor, right not the West one yet, but he has taken the East one at 30 metal compared to 20 from Hell War. And two characters to use it, so he does have everything he needs to use it. This is a good position for Radavadra. He just needs to make sure not to overextend himself at this point. He's just consolidated, get it. Enough of an army to fight off Hell War, and then from there, he should be able to push in. Make sure this Grizzly doesn't die. Losing that Grizzly would be huge. That is half of Radabadger's army value right now, is that one Grizzly. And it's taking quite a lot of damage to these defenders. Just out of range, too, unfortunately. The defender range is higher than the Grizzly range. And down go... What the heck? Oh, that was a Scuttle. Down goes a Scuttle that I totally missed, but still was... Or would have been extremely powerful. Hellwar aware of or at least suspects air and likes it. He actually is he aware of air? Let's see. Hellwar is not aware of air, but he's probably guessing as much. Does not have radar in that area. Although he's not aware of the air factor, but he might have seen the hawks going around. That's probably what it is that he's responding to. Getting an archangel out has one out already, so the hawk is going to be a bit limited in utility. Oh yeah, that scuttle. That was a good kill on the scuttle. I just kind of missed that at first. That being said, Radavadra does have. Fairly damaged Grizzly, that's the majority of his army value. He has the east side of the map, but Pyros look like they're positioning themselves to get in to attack from Hell War. Radavadra is managing to get his army value up. He is managing to get more and more units. Does have a Phoenix up for, I guess, getting rid of the puppies, because everything else wouldn't really work. Maybe getting rid of the defenders as well. That would work too. The Pyros would not go down to a, to a Phoenix. The Hawks as well wouldn't help too much. The thing, I'm not sure why he went for Hawks outright. Swiftsman made a lot of sense. He doesn't know that Hell is going for air. He doesn't know Hell is not going for air. Swifts would have at least allowed him to attack the ground. Give him a bit of flex. He does get rid of the puppies. Nice shot there, though the Phoenix does die in the process, but still gets rid of the puppies. That will give his Grizzly a bit more room to move, and he's taking advantage of that too. Moving his Grizzly a bit farther forward. Right now, this group of Pyros is in a great position to attack. Hell War aware of this, though, moves him out of the way. Not quite out of a clump. Okay, now he gets him out of a clump. Gets him into a line. That's good for him because otherwise he would have lost them for nothing. However, like I said, Hellwar has anti-air. Radavadra doesn't really have a whole lot of anti-ground. Still going for a lot of Hawks, which make little sense. At this point, I don't think Hellwar's going to go for air at all. But he is, however, getting hit by the Grizzly pretty hard, and that Grizzly is going to take a few more shots to get rid of the Gauss turret. But the Gauss turret's not really doing much, actually. The commander is just slightly out of range, so the penetration can't deal with it. And the Grizzly finishes it off and will move on to the Pyros. While well, at the same time, more Hawks moving to their deaths. That is a bit of a mistake for Radavadra. He is not paying attention to that. He is paying attention to... Well, where is he paying attention to, actually? Let's find out. He is paying attention to his base, actually. Because there are a couple of Jacks in his base, and that is the thing to pay attention to. Or he's not paying sufficient attention to his base. He's lost a couple of caretakers. Scallop coming back here to deal with the Jacks. Will have a lot of friendly fire issues though. We'll deal with we'll hit the its own base, but at least it will get rid of the jacks fairly effectively. Another scallop is being built, but without the caretakers. I'm not sure this factory is gonna go down before the scallop is done. That's one factory out, and the air factory is not doing anything other than building useless hawks. Well, useless in this context. Grizzly has pushed forward and will start to deal with some of the metal extractors, but Hellward at this point is tearing apart Radavadra's base. Radavadra must respond in kind if he wants to get through this. He's not rebuilding factories anywhere across the map. His commander isn't doing it. His worker over to the east side of the map, which actually is apparently dead. Oh no, he just got his commander. That's it. And he's lost both factories to those jacks. Neither of the jacks has gone down yet. One of them is at 600 health, fairly weak. The scallop is very nearly destroying it, but this entire base is going to go down before the jacks do. That is huge. The grizzly attempting to respond in kind will be able to deal with a few of the pyros actually. Gets rid of one, heavily damages the other two, but they are all gonna just go for it, surround it, and probably kill it. It can't even hit them at that angle. It can't bend its gun down far enough. And the Grizzly goes down. And with that, go Radavadra's hopes to win this game. He does have a couple scallops that are going to go for one last ditch attempt. But losing that Grizzly is massive. Absolutely massive. The way he's going to be able to try to get rid of that. I don't know. That's. I don't think Radavadra has much of an option at this point. He's lost both of his factories. He has only his commander as a worker. He's building a heavy tank factory in the center of the map. Risky move, probably going to go either for Tremor, just to get rid of all... I'm guessing Tremor, honestly. Though he might decide to go for Banisher or maybe even Panther. And Panther to get rid of the Pyros or Banisher just get rid of clumps of units. Pyros coming anywhere. They are going down. Actually, the Pyros are going down en masse. Only the Jack's going to survive this, and even then it's going to take a fair amount of damage. Mostly thanks to the two Stingers. But yeah, that Jack actually not doing a whole lot. The Pyros really wasted themselves in this. However, if there's a follow-up, if there was a follow-up, which there isn't, unfortunately, for Hellwar, 
If he had a follow-up, that would be huge, but he does not have a follow-up. Sadly for him, a lot of his army value is in this jacked Archangel. It doesn't, doesn't seem to have a lot in... Where, okay, he has 4,000 army value. A lot of it's his commander, actually. The rest of it is a couple Archangels and a Jack, and presumably some other small units, which I... I can't say presumably. I can see the entire map. There isn't much. No, there's... Yeah, that's... That is basically what it is. Wow. Okay, so Hellwar is a little bit limited in his options, and we are seeing a Reaper coming out, so just straightforward attacking. Renovadra just wants to knock down the door, not do anything too fancy with Tremors or anything like that. Hellwar, on the other hand, going for very high cost units. Ah, here's the other. That's the rest of the army value, is these two Jacks. That's where I was getting confused. So yeah, fairly weak Jacks. They are they are healing themselves. And Radavadra not taking care of that because he remains without radar. He still does not have radar. He is not aware that these Jacks are down here. This is his vision. He does not know they're here. So, not going to work out too well for him. He's going to have to deal with fully healed Jacks in about five minutes. Maybe 10 minutes, <laughs> if the game lasts that long. Although, it's already been 20 minutes, so who knows? This has been a pretty long game, actually. Although, Hellwar, apparently by defense. And Radavadra has... Well, okay, actually, he switched to Welder instead of getting Reapers. Getting a couple Welders for Reclaim first, and then going for Reapers. He really shouldn't do that, though. He needs to get Caretakers who are going to do that. This Welder probably going to help out the factory, but this is... This is a good timing for Hellwar to come in. Radavadra is really open. He's reclaiming metal into waste, actually. Not really becoming really anything useful. A couple jacks come in with a couple pyros. Those jacks should operate as a as sufficient support. Although, actually, one of them does go down. Be no, never mind. There we go. Okay, now it goes down. The Wellers can deal with this, but the other side of it. Now, even with that, there's actually pretty good defense for Radavadra. This, these jacks and pyros are dealing a decent amount of damage, and this last jack actually will not succeed, though it will deal some damage to the stinger. One more force like that should break this, and it is incoming, actually. Two more powers and a jack aren't coming for Hellworld on the west side. His jacks on the southwest side still healing up, not going for those quite yet. The east side of the map, heavily controlled by Radavadra. He still has this, even though the stinger is not complete. He has no other units there. Losing a... Oh, that is painful. Losing a pyro to a Stardust. Attacked from the wrong angle there, and the Reapers are incoming. The commander should be... Needs to be either assisting the factory or building caretakers or both. This is wasted metal. Radavadra is wasting a lot of his economy here. He should not be doing that because reclaim when you don't have any way to store the metal or you're not using enough metal. Okay, Radavadra is building caretakers. That should happen quickly enough, I think. There is a nano lathe on the commander. 15 build power, not bad. Although, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. 15 build power on 220 metal. Yeah, so 15 seconds in and oh no, why is Radavadra's commander? Repairing that should not happen. Radavadra, why are you making your he is making his commander repair? Yes, commander selected right now. Got the caretaker up. It's still not actually helping too much. At this point with the commander working and building, reclaim is of some use. I'll just now, but yeah, I'm not sure what exactly help Radavadra has planned right now. He's splitting himself between a stinger and a reaper. There is an air factory in now for Hell War and Radavadra coming in, hitting the starters before the commander, which is going to give Radavadra a bit of time to move his hawk in, although there are Archangels that's going to be a bit tricky to work with. But Hellwar has indeed gone for air. And he did try... Okay, Radavadra did try to come in with a hawk. And that was the last hawk at that. Southwest Jack still in waiting, still on standby. And the Reaper, about two minutes away from being done. Second Reaper, sorry. First Reaper is done. Just got done. Not being taken out directly by the bombers, though. In fact, the bombers are now going for the commander. But the commander does have... Actually, doesn't have an auto-repair system. Does have a Lazarus device, but no auto-repair system. Chainsaw coming up, so 20 seconds until those bombers are not going to be super useful. At the same time, Radavadra is pushing in with the Reaper and Scallops. Reaper should be up front for tanking, but still, that's... Actually going to... Yeah, will that work out too well? I'm not sure that's going to work out too well. Reaper is taking a lot of damage. If it can get rid of these powers, it'll help out. But Radavadra is giving a lot of metal to Hellwar. And Hellwar now starting to lose these bombers. He will be able to drop off. No, not even able to drop off that load. That bomber completely dead. And the chainsaw close enough to actually hit the factory directly from he from where it's standing. Though admittedly the spotter... No, never mind. It's able to hit the air units, but not the factory directly. 
Not stuff on the factory. However, it doesn't matter. The Reaper is going to get rid of the factory. There's not a whole lot to deal with this. Hellwar still leaving these guys in standby. I think you might have forgotten about them, actually. Because honestly, they could just go in and deal with everything from the back. Tear apart more of Radovadra's economy. Radovadra still doesn't have this metal extractor, by the way. This three and a half metal metal extractor is not Radovadra's. And the airplane plant getting repaired too quickly. Oh, probably should go for the just go for the pylon to just deal a bit of damage. Not a whole lot of damage, but still, that's a weak target that would go down quickly. And Hellwar actually about to lose this jack, or will he lose the jack? Yes, he will, because he's not. It's gonna be fired upon when it hits the ground and goes down. Radovadra will be able to tear apart more metal extractors, and now Hellwar loses. Quite a bit of economic advantage, though at this point a lot of economy is based on Reclaim. Okay, reclaim is mattering a lot more, and map control has kind of been decided, but Reclaim and Overdrive, that's keeping Hellwar pretty much even. In fact, he has two and a half times over power, thanks to the Fusion Reactor primarily, but yeah, two and a half times Overdrive on all those mechs is being overdriven. So he's actually not that far behind Radovadra, all things considered. However, Radovadra is getting more and more Reapers, and the one he had did not die. Went back for repairs, went through the... What the heck? Well, there goes that commander. Was that a sneaky scuttle? I... <sighs> Seriously, are scuttles invisible to me or something? Like, does the mod not render? Am I missing something? Because that... Either that, or there was a mistaken friendly fire incident. However... Whatever happened, that got rid of everything. Did the commander wreck even in here? Well, Stardust died, and that's usually a big explosion, yes, but that was a commander explosion. I don't... What? Yeah, the commander is down. I apologize that I missed whatever it was that actually caused that to happen, because I think it was friendly fire. I think it was a stinger that just... I'm not sure it was targeting. Did not see a scuttle walk in, though. I'm starting to suspect that I'm having a rendering bug with the scuttles. That was bizarre. I don't think there was... No, there's only the con the commander was self-destructed. And, I mean, Radovadra is ahead. So, I don't know. That was bizarre. Although, Hellwar moving in for a bit of a last stand. Getting it up pretty quickly with these... I mean, the power's gonna go down quickly. The puppies aren't even gonna do much damage at all. More puppies are... Actually, enough puppies coming in. This could make a difference. Actually, these will get rid of one of the stingers. The other stinger will stay alive. No, not even. And one of the characters goes down. The other character goes down. That's a big blow. Radovadra can't easily afford that. He does, however, have three Reapers. Against five Pyros, the Reapers should win, but it depends a lot on positioning. It depends on whether or not they're actually going to be able to hit the Pyros due to their slow-moving projectile. Bit tricky there, but... They should be able to at least tank a lot of damage and get in pretty heavily. Hellwars Commander has not been upgraded. However, one of the Reapers already goes down. Character goes down as a cost, but still, another second Reaper is going to go down pretty soon. Defenders firing off again, and down goes the Commander in the middle of all the Defenders. Hellwars loses his Commander as well in the middle of all his Defenders, so at least that gets rid of that defense line. But Radovadra is going to need to rebuild his, car his Caretakers, otherwise he has nothing to use this metal on. And that's a lot of Reapers that have gone down. Hellwars getting a ton of Reclaim. I mean, Radovadra just can't break this. I am actually a little surprised he hasn't gone for Tremor. I would have expected he would have gone for at least one Tremor, just to tear apart this entire area. Maybe even tear apart some of the base, because at this point he can't easily break through Hellwar's defenses. And in fact, Hellwar, I think, at this point is going to be able to break out and probably win. I... I gotta be honest, I think Hellwar will come back in this game. I don't know for sure. But, yeah, he's getting rid of the heavy tank factory. There is no other factory being built yet. There are more workers, but no other factories being built. These jacks are moving in to attack. Haven't actually attacked yet, but they are moving in. There's a lot of economy for Radovadra, but no factories. Hellwar is getting his production pretty strong. If he rebuilds some metal extractors, he can win. And basically, this siege position is gone. So, yeah, Radovadra throws in the towel. That is game. Wow, Radovadra really kind of threw that away, I'm afraid. Not to rub the commander, but yeah, that direct assault on here, probably a bad idea. Really not the best idea. Still a very interesting game. Went from Amphib into Heavy Tank like that. I think another mistake was building the Hawks, though. Like, the Hawks weren't necessary due to the lack of air. Swifts are a good way to start. Hawks are really only necessary when you need to retake air control. At first, Swifts are the better option, though, because they can hit ground. They are anti-air. But they still hit ground, so you have some options if your opponent hasn't gone air. You don't have to try to read them properly. Anyway, 
that is that game. I will have another game for you guys in just a moment, which will be a game between Skillerman or Spireman and D Deebs. I requested this on Icy Run. In just a moment. Stay tuned.